Hello, Sam White here from Ball Blair, and uh, I'd like to introduce um, Strawn, Strawn Pierce from uh, Stud Stock Sales, also uh, who's been here for the last few days. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much for having us. I'm Strawn Pierce from studstocksales.com, and uh, as you say, Sam, we've just spent the last couple of days uh, videoing your, uh, your sale team in preparation for the 2023 uh, bull sale. Uh, exciting offering of bulls you've got uh, this year. Yeah, thanks, Strawn, and I've got to say, uh, you guys. Uh, so Strawn is here with his wife, uh, Monica, and they do a great job on uh, presenting um, our bulls and, the, and good images of our bulls. So to both of you, thank you very much. Um, I've got to say, you're both extremely patient, and uh, I think it's pretty obvious that perhaps I'm not. <laughs> so uh, we had a great team of people here, including my boys, Abbott Arthur and uh, Abbott's mate Jack and uh, a few others, and you had young Scott here. So look, it was great to have everybody here. It worked really well. Few little issues, but after uh, after a good good uh, a good day on um, when was our best day was on Monday, and then we had a bit of rain yesterday, and then to finish off today. So look, it was a good few days. It certainly was. It's good fun and great fun having Abbott and Arthur involved and, and Cookie as well. It, uh, it it just makes the job so much easier, doesn't it, Sam? I agree. I agree, and it's all about you know for us, it's all about family, and it's all about um, displaying and getting on display. Um, the bulls that we're going to be presenting for sale in a few weeks' time. So our bull sale is going to be on uh, Tuesday the 1st of August and it'll be starting at 1 point at 1pm. It'll be in this selling arena. So uh, we're looking forward to have everybody here on that particular day. Absolutely. Yeah, 115 bulls catalogued this year, Sam? Yeah, it seems like a bigger number, but look, you know, we'll have a few scratchings before the sale, so I'd expect somewhere between uh, perhaps uh, 110, 108. Um, we'll make the sale team. Um, we, we have still, uh, we semen morphology test uh, and motility test all our bulls. We have a few retests coming up next week, so of course we've catalogued 115. Hopefully we get everything through everything, mm. but I'd like to say that it has yet to happen to me. So uh, look, we'll, uh, we'll do our damnedest to get a good 110 odd bulls um, to the auction if we can. Certainly look forward to seeing them being offered. And, uh, and again, the three age groups being offered again this year, Sam. Yes, yeah, so uh, we, we, we sort of, the, the, our hand was shown to us, I suppose, in 2019 with the 18 month old draft. Mm. However, it's, it's, it's shown to us that there's a market for it. And, um, and a lot of our colleagues in the industry are selling 18 month old bulls. And for us, we found that we can actually make it fit and make it fit in our breeding program. So a quarter of our breeding program is now dedicated to uh, an autumn drop breeding program. Mm. So these animals generally calve January, February, and, uh, and we start um, inseminating those cows the May, the year before, of course. So, you know, we've got it timed pretty right, um, and, uh, and, it, and it works. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got, we'll have 80 two-year-old bulls, mm -hmm. well, bulls rising two, year old, two years of age. We'll have um, 22 um, bulls that are 18 months of age, and then we'll have um, 13 yearling bulls. Uh, so uh, they've all got to go through the rigours that we put them through to get uh, to get on the selling podium. So um, hopefully they do, as I said, and uh, and uh, we'll have a great great lineup of little bulls, Absolutely. little bulls for everyone to to have a crack at this year. Definitely, and uh, and some exciting uh, you know sire lines uh, on offer again this year, Sam. Yeah. So um, look, it's extremely important that um, for us one one of the the most important things, of course, is that our programs continually improving. Mm. And uh, the, the other thing is that it's an important part of getting that is ensuring that we've got diversity in our breeding program. So we, we have a number of new sires that are operating in the herd, um, and some of those new sires will be found in both the 18 month and also in the yearling bulls. And two noted sires are Sits Resilient and also Tahama Patriarch. Mm. And uh, we, we'll be retaining one of each of those bloodlines to go into stud duties this year. Uh, so we're pretty excited by the bulls we've got on offer. Uh, with respect to those two new lines. In addition, you know, the, the lines that we've got, we've bred, uh, you'll notice that we have uh, a number of the Rennie Lee and L519 sons, uh, direct sons up for sale, but we bred two really good bulls out of that line um, in P52 and also in P97, phenotype P97. P97 was sold uh, a few years ago. He ended up in South Australia uh, at Manday and Angus. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a really good a really good opportunity for us for other people to see our genetics and that bull's getting a bit of use. We'll also, we had he, he, P97, the, one of the top priced 
Um, yearling in 18 month old bulls last year was a P97 son, so mm. we've got more of his sons up for sale. P52 is a, he's been a really sound, a really consistent worker for us. So um, look, he's finished his stud duties. He's had three years of three years of work in the stud, and uh, and he's got some uh, good progeny both in the bulls and in the females that are that are also left um, in our herd. Um, in addition, we've got paratrooper sons up for sale. He's another good Australian sire um, from Millamurra who's uh, just performed really well in this mm -hmm. herd. So uh, we're pretty wrapped with that. We've also got uh, Tamania uh, Quantum Plate sons. Uh, he was a bull that we were um, shares with, with a number of other breeders. And uh, so we've got, you know, good diversity of um, bloodlines in our breeding programs, yeah. Absolutely, and, and you see that diversification in, in, in the, the spread of your buyers that they continue to buy you year in, year out at, uh, at Ball Blair. I mean, we continue to see that, that Queensland uh, um, act, you know, buying activity throughout uh, New South Wales and, and into Victoria and New South Wales as well, don't we? Oh, I, I, we do, and I think um, it's still an area of opportunity for all of us. Um, and, uh, and look, I think our bulls are performing up there. Well, I don't think these bulls are performing, otherwise these wouldn't, guys wouldn't be coming back. Mm. So... You know that the bulls have, have got an op they've, they've got an opportunity to express themselves up there. People are starting to get rewarded with the effort of the Angus over a crossbred breeding program, uh, and that's that's where it fits. It's where it fits up there. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the catalogue again is so I verified. Yeah, it's well actually we've got uh, it's extremely important to us that we move to a fully parent verified mm. catalogue, and that's our goal. We've still got a few little. Few little issues there. We've got, uh, I think, there's uh, we've got well over 100 bulls of parent verified yeah. in this year's catalogue. The remainder are side verified. I think there's five or six. So uh, look, our goal is to ensure that we get we get everything parent verified, and and that's what should happen in the next year or so. So, um, but we're committed to providing people the actual animals that they um, that we're selling and have them verified, completely ver verified in terms of the sire and the dam. Uh, we think that's an important thing. The other thing is uh, with um, PV, of course, comes the opportunity for HD 50K. Mm -hmm. So all uh, the taste is uh, genomically enhanced EBV uh, in the in the Trans Tasman um, Angus cattle evaluation. So uh, another important um, initiative um, with respect to uh, Angus breed societies or the Angus Society of Australia and uh, their move to uh, make available to the latest latest technologies that we've got. Um, to uh, to improve our breeding programs, yeah, definitely, and 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 a, and a catalogue as well that's backed with, uh, with with the figures as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Look, I, I, we we just completed the catalogue today, uh, so today being the sixth of July, that catalogue's now accessible on our website, mm -hmm. uh, which would have been from around about one or two o'clock uh, this afternoon. So, pretty excited, relieved, absolutely grateful for the photography. We've used the photos of those earlier lots that we've used that you guys did for us. Uh, they're in that catalogue, and uh, that catalogue is now going to print. Uh, we should have that complete, um, I hope, by the end of the week and in the mail uh, early next week. So, um, so that, so the, the, getting back to your comment um, with respect to, we, we call it industry relevant. Um, we, we think the bulls are pretty industry relevant with respect to those people who are uh, breeding for the long fed, uh, the long fed heavy grain market, mm -hmm. like we are. We've been supplying steers to Rangers Valley for a long, long time. Um, and for anybody else who is supplying steers into that market or to other feedlots that are feeding over the long haul, uh, <clears throat> in addition to um, a self-replacing breeding herd as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, uh, we um, you know, that, that's our target market and uh, there are a lot of our clients doing the same. In addition to our Queensland breeders who are breeding in more of a crossbred program, but some are moving to more purebred Angus as well. So uh, it's nice for them to be able to focus on bulls uh, with good good growth and good carcass, and uh, there's a lot of attention paid to animals that can marble on on long term feed. Um, it's very costly, um, yep. and I would suspect uh, with the um, environmental considerations with respect to El Nino in front of us, the cost of feed's going to go up. It's important these animals perform on feed. So we have uh, we have bulls that have got uh, IMFs up as high as six in this year's catalogue, mm. uh, numbers at threes, fours, and a few fives. So Pretty happy. Uh, that's with respect to the IMF EBV um, percentage. So look, uh, the, our bulls of our bulls of um, you know they've uh, they're performing well at the valley. I, I actually had an opportunity to go to the valley or to go up to uh, Warwick and see a slaughter of 
of, uh, uh, of um, ball blessed ears only a few weeks ago and as a consequence of that we were able to um, select some meat that'll end up being sold uh, or not sold be offered for lunch here at our bull sale so pretty excited by that always certainly look forward to that Sam those uh, those steaks are the best on uh, best on tour um, again the sale will be interfaced with uh, with auctions plus again this year yeah thanks um, and you are one of the primary movers of that for us and to auctions plus team thank you very much we we appreciate um, the connection and the uh, the collaboration that occurs between Auctions Plus and Ball Blair and also Stud Stock Sales. Uh, it, it makes for a lot of fun, but it also makes it easy for those people who will inspect prior to sale and then not turn up on sale day. Um, and for those of you who uh, can actually or want to still work on Auctions Plus in the selling complex, we actually have Wi-Fi here after all these years. <laughs> so you can do it sneakily, you can do it properly, or you can do it whatever way you like. So Absolutely. whether you're here or whether you're not. So. And, 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 you know, for someone who's sitting at home or who's going to utilise that platform, utilise Auctions Plus, you know, you couple the photos, the videos, the data, the pedigrees, all that information. It's, uh, you know, you're transparent here at Ball Blair. All that information is available to someone who wants to uh, to operate at home, isn't it? Absolutely. So uh, you, you'll notice in the catalogue we'll also have our, our structural assessments mm. being done by um, Independent Marketing Services of Dick Whale. All those structural scores are in the catalogue. Um, the the morpho morphology results are in the catalogue. Um, scrotal circumferences are in the catalogue. All the data that we've that we've spent the lifetime of these bulls, the two years collecting, is uh, goes to make up the EBVs that are there and presented for those catalogues. Uh, so yeah, absolutely, definitely. And uh, um, you, you mentioned about the opportunity of people being able to inspect the uh, well, pre-inspect the bulls prior to the sale. You've got an open day, day on July the thirtieth. Uh, 30th. 30th, that's yeah. correct, yeah. So we do have an, an open day on July the 30th and we'll have bulls in the yard. Uh, it, it, it's convenient for us, that's a really convenient format because it allows us to actually put the paint brands uh, the paint brands on the bulls at the same time so that it, with respect to their, their uh, lot numbers. So that happens on that particular Sunday. Um, so people can come and inspect there at their leisure but they can also come and inspect um, uh, Simply by giving me a call, mm. and if they want me to spend a bit more time with them, um, then then it's a real opportunity for that to occur uh, at any time in the next few weeks and lead up to the sale. Fantastic! It's mm. been a big twelve months here at Paul Blair. Your female sale there back in the autumn was a terrific success. Yes, look, yes, yeah, thank you, Stron, and uh, we we were um, we were we were overwhelmed by the support, mm. uh, blown away. Once again, we had cattle go as far away as Victoria. Um, and into um, southern and central Queensland. So it, it was a big spread and it was a new initiative for us and we're really proud to get our cattle out in the market. So that, that, was, that was amazing. Um, we're grateful for the um, connection that Auction Plus ga gave us because uh, uh, some of our buyers were basically buying on Auctions Plus and, uh, and, uh, and some of them got to inspect and some didn't. So we're really uh, grateful for the um, trust that we feel has been put in Auctions Plus and the information that we're providing. Uh, we, we, did, we also did a number of pre-sale inspections mm. uh, with that female sale and we invite people um, to come and do those pre-sale inspections uh, if they want, just, uh, you know, just ask. It's an open gate policy. Yeah. Exactly, yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Sam, on that note, uh, we wish you and Kirsty, the boys, Abbott and Arthur, all the best for your bull sale this year. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. It's hard to believe it's, uh, you know, 12 months has come around so quickly, but uh, here we are on the eve of the 2023 Ball Blair Angus Bull Sale and we look forward to, uh, to sale day. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Strawn and Monica. Thank you very much for the work that you do. We absolutely value the images that you present uh, for all the work that we do. It's so important that I've noticed over the last three or four years that I couldn't actually get that right. So uh, it's nice to, to have you guys on board and uh, you're easy to work with and you're a lot more patient than me. So <laughs> look, well done and and, uh, and uh, we want to acknowledge um, Octus Plus and uh, just, just briefly, um, uh, just to be able to say, you know, if anybody is, um, hasn't connected on Auctions Plus or don't know what to do, maybe you might um, have something to say. Yeah, if anyone's got any questions, uh, feel free. The office down there in Sydney, are, uh, you know, there, there's a team down there that are ready and willing to uh, answer any questions, uh, you know, field any calls and, 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 and give any advice or help if, if, if required. Uh, likewise, I'll be here on sale day. I'm, I'm happy to, to take a phone call or, or help anyone who needs a, needs a hand. But uh, more importantly, I'll certainly uh, 
uh, call your bids out sale day and, and, and uh, you can rely on me to contribute to the sale, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Troy, and we look forward to it. And uh, thank you, for, thank you um, uh, for everyone who's uh, listening to this. We appreciate it. Thanks, Sam. Well done.